What if I told you there is a grain that carries more protein than beef? It thrives in heat that turns corn to dust. It grows with almost no water. And for 4,000 years, it was the backbone of civilizations across the Americas. Then, in less than two centuries, we erased it. We replaced it with weaker crops, buried its name, and let it vanish from our fields. But beneath the soil, something was waiting. It didn't die, it slept. This is the story of amaranth, the crop we threw away just before we needed it most. Welcome to Veiled Earth. Before we unveil this story, if these hidden truths matter to you, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with those who need to remember what we forgot. The archive opens in ancient Mexico. Clay jars buried deep in granaries. Tehuacan Valley, 4000 BCE. Inside, thousands of tiny seeds perfectly preserved for 6,000 years. The people who stored them possessed a wisdom we lost. In a land where survival meant choosing what to plant first, they chose this grain before everything else. Not for sentiment, for survival. This was amaranth. To the Aztec, it was Huatli, the grain of the gods. To the Maya, Kiwicha. Across the Americas for thousands of years, this plant was revered as sacred. Unlike maize, which only gives kernels, amaranth gave a double harvest, edible seeds and edible greens. Just one plant can produce up to 200,000 seeds in a single season. One acre of amaranth can yield 3,000 pounds of grain with minimal water. Its leaves contain twice the calcium of spinach and nearly the same protein percentage as milk. By the time the Spanish invaded in the 1500s, amaranth was everywhere. The Aztec devoted four out of five acres of farmland to it. It was baked, ground into flour, boiled into porridges, and shaped into ritual cakes. This wasn't just survival food. It was abundance, culture, and power. For the Aztec, amaranth was sacred. Spanish chroniclers like Bernardino de Sahagún recorded that as much as 80% of Aztec farmland grew amaranth. Eight fields out of ten devoted not to corn, but to this super grain. Soldiers marching into battle carried tiny cakes made of amaranth seeds and honey. These energy bars were dense, portable, and kept men alive during long campaigns. During Pancatzalistli, a celebration honoring the war god Huitzilopochtli, giant statues were molded from amaranth flour and honey. After rituals, these statues were broken apart and eaten by the crowd. This wasn't snack food. It was communion, a direct link between the mortal and the divine. Maya city-states baked it into ritual breads, while Pueblo communities colored their sacred loaves with red amaranth dye. It traveled across trade routes stretching hundreds of miles. For the Aztec, amaranth was divine fuel, food, medicine, and spiritual weapon rolled into one. And this is why its destruction was so brutal. How it outperformed corn? Corn has around 9% protein, but amaranth, seeds contain 14 to 16% protein, almost double. And unlike corn, amaranth carries lysine, an essential amino acid the human body can't make on its own. Corn doesn't provide it. Amaranth does. While most grains only give seeds, amaranth offers a double harvest. Its fresh green leaves are even richer in iron, calcium, and vitamin C than spinach. Families could pull food from the same plant throughout the season. Greens in summer, grain in fall. A single cup of cooked amaranth grain packs 251 calories, 9 grams of protein, and 5 grams of fiber. Compare that to white rice, just 4 grams of protein and barely any minerals. Even storage made it superior. Amaranth seeds could last for years in clay jars, resisting insects and mold better than corn. When corn failed, amaranth thrives in poor soil and harsh heat. Unlike maize, which demands fertile fields and steady rain, 
Amaranth can grow in rocky ground with minimal water. Modern studies show it needs 30 to 50 percent less irrigation than corn, yet still produces up to 3,000 pounds per acre. During the great drought of 1276 to 1299, tree ring studies show maize crops collapsed across the southwest. Yet amaranth pollen continues to appear in soil samples from the same era. People turned to it as a fallback crop when corn failed. Amaranth's deep taproot can stretch up to six feet into the ground, sucking up moisture hidden far below. Its broad leaves photosynthesize efficiently, even in scorching sunlight. The plant self-seeds if left unattended, ensuring it returns year after year. Oral histories from Pueblo communities tell of the plant that waits. Even if rains came late, amaranth was ready to produce food when everything else failed. Corn gave abundance in good years. Amaranth guaranteed survival in bad ones. Why the Spanish tried to erase it. When Hernán Cortés and the conquistadors marched into the Valley of Mexico in 1519, they wanted control. And amaranth stood directly in their way. During religious festivals, giant statues of Huitzilopochtli were sculpted out of amaranth dough mixed with honey. After rituals, the statues were broken apart and eaten. To the Spanish, this looked disturbingly similar to Catholic communion, except it honored a pagan god. That terrified them, so they banned it. Spanish authorities outlawed the growing of amaranth in the 1500s. Anyone caught planting it risked severe punishment. Whole villages could be fined or attacked if fields were discovered. Within just a few generations, amaranth fields that once covered 80% of Aztec farmland nearly vanished. Colonial records show production plummeted to almost nothing by the 1700s. But the Spanish weren't only fighting religion, they were fighting resistance. Amaranth was a survival crop capable of feeding armies with less land and water. By destroying the crop, they weakened entire communities. Yet the plant never fully died. In remote Pueblo and mountain villages, families secretly guarded seeds in clay pots or hidden gardens. Amaranth became a quiet act of defiance. How indigenous tribes kept it alive. When the Spanish outlawed amaranth, they thought they had stamped it out forever. But in the Southwest, native farmers had a different plan. They hid it. The Pueblo, Hopi, and Navajo grew it quietly in small patches, tucked behind cornfields or mixed with other crops so overseers wouldn't notice. Oral traditions describe this as resistance farming. Seeds were treasures. Families passed them down in clay pots or wrapped in hides stored in cool caves. Some ethnobotanical surveys in the 20th century uncovered heirloom amaranth varieties still grown in these communities, proving the chain of survival never broke. Among the Hopi, amaranth's brilliant red dye was used to color ceremonial piki bread. The Navajo cooked amaranth greens as summer vegetables. For nearly 400 years, native families secretly carried forward the seeds of a banned plant. They risked punishment to ensure survival crops didn't vanish completely. Amaranth didn't survive because it was forgotten. It survived because people refused to forget. Some weak scientists call it a superfood. Now today, nutritionists call amaranth a superfood. A single cup of cooked amaranth has 9 grams of protein, 5 grams of fiber, 250 calories, and high levels of magnesium, phosphorus, and manganese. Unlike wheat or barley, amaranth is gluten-free. Modern tests show it contains antioxidants that help fight inflammation and more calcium than milk by weight. Its oil contains squalene, a rare compound linked to heart health. Its leaves are a powerhouse of nutrition. Studies from Kenya and Nigeria confirm that amaranth leaves deliver twice the vitamin C of kale and more iron than spinach. In Mexico today, 
Popped amaranth seeds are mixed with honey to make alegrias, sweet bars. This is the direct descendant of the cakes Aztec warriors once carried into battle. Even NASA has studied amaranth as a candidate for space farming because it grows fast, produces both grain and greens, and regenerates quickly under stress. Could this crop save us? With climate change bringing hotter summers and harsher droughts, scientists are searching for climate-smart crops. Amaranth is at the top of the list. Modern trials show amaranth can produce 2,000 to 3,000 pounds per acre, even with limited irrigation. Compare that to corn, which may lose over 50% of yield in drought years. Its taproot allows it to draw moisture where other plants wither. With 30% more protein than rice, more calcium than milk, and more iron than spinach, amaranth could fight malnutrition in countries where diets lack these key nutrients. The United Nations has included it in discussions about underutilized crops that could help secure food supplies for billions. Pueblo, Hopi, and Navajo farmers who preserved amaranth for centuries already understand its rhythms. Scientists argue that blending this ancient, knowledge with modern breeding could unlock amaranth's true potential. Could this forgotten crop save us? History suggests it already did once. And if the future grows hotter and hungrier, amaranth may step forward again as the survivor crop we all desperately need. This knowledge is not lost. It is buried in every seed, every leaf, every harvest. The crop empires tried to erase may hold the key to our survival. If this unveiled something for you, subscribe to Veiled Earth and hit the bell. Every share helps preserve this forgotten wisdom. The next revelation comes soon.